Parents protest the nationwide reopening of schools. End depict of the fact that Brazil's fascist president Jair Bolsonaro has been charged with crimes against humanity, the ruling class is reopening schools at a rapid pace. This approach will have the expected result of causing a large number of illnesses and deaths among children and adolescents. Brazil's mortality toll from the epidemic has risen to 350 per day on average, with 12,000 cases reported daily. The Delta version of the coronavirus is driving a fresh spike of cases and fatalities, according to serious experts like neurologist Miguel Nicolilis. He continues to warn that infections in the nation are being blatantly underreported. State governments in Rio de Janeiro, São Paulo, Chiara and Bahia, all led by the supposedly progressive Workers' Party, PT, have declared the termination of any social distance inside schools as part of their attempts to proclaim the end of the epidemic as fictional. In congested classrooms with unvaccinated children, hybrid teaching techniques that rotate between in-person and online sessions are being replaced. Increasingly, Parents and educators in Brazil oppose this heinous policy. We share here a statement from singer Anderson Pequeno, whose kid is six and attends a Rio de Janeiro public school. He is actively opposing the federal and state government's misinformation campaigns, as well as the corporate media, and advocating for safe education in Brazil. The World Socialist website and the International Workers' Alliance of Rank and File Committees, IWARFC, will host the online event, How to End the Pandemic, on Sunday, October 24, with the goal of uniting the struggles of parents like Anderson with those of other workers around the world and equipping them with the most advanced scientific knowledge about the COVID-19 pandemic.